The next thing I wanted to talk about is the idea of engagement. So we do uh, employee engagement surveys. Uh, every organisation does that. Um, but engagement really is very important for, uh, for the staff to understand where we are within the organisation and to be able to sort of work with the organisation in making the organisation better but themselves better as well. Uh, so I, I like to use Khan's uh, model of uh, engagement because it's something that really resonates with um, the way I see things. And Khan really talks about three parts of uh, engagement. There's psychological meaningfulness, meaning that the work that I do is meaningful to me and to the organisation. There's an alignment between what the organisation wants and what is it that I'm doing. Then there's the idea of psychological availability. This is the idea that if I am so cognitively loaded with so many worries, I actually cannot be engaged in the organisation. The organisation needs to help me reduce that psychological load, cognitive load, so that I can truly be engaged with where, I'm trying, where we're all trying to drive this, this uh, train. And the, idea, the third idea is something that's very important to me, is the idea of psychological safety. Psychological safety, simply put, is the idea that you can appear to be stupid in front of your colleagues and your superior, that you can ask questions and you're comfortable with the fact that even if I ask the wrong question, it's okay because there's nothing wrong with appearing stupid. Um, and, and these three factors are really important in pulling together what would then be engagement for a person within an organisation. And... The reason why I, I like that model is because, uh, as you've heard, I am recently trying to build a new organisation. Uh, so the Woodlands Health Campus is a new hospital that's going to be built and we're trying to open in 2022. Uh, and in the process of doing that, we are hiring people. And we decided that we need to start working on creating a positive work environment to support our staff, even though we are in the process of building and we decided to focus on three things, aligned with the three parts of what Khan's model of, psych, uh, of engagement is. So the first is the idea of participative management. Participative management really is the idea that people are willing to work uh, with the organisation to help reduce problems within the organisation. They own the problems that the organisation has and are willing to work with the organisation to solve these problems. Then there's the idea of psychological safety, which I explained is important. And the, the third part is the idea of meaning and purpose. So we have conversations with our staff. Why are you here? Why do you want to be part of this journey that we are having? And, and, and we ask them, how is it that the environment can be improved and what would you do to help the environments improve so that you can be engaged in, in, the, in, this pro in this project together? And then we ask, what are the things that the organisation is doing that actually makes it feel unsafe for you to voice out your concerns, psychological safety? So these are simple questions we ask. They're not complicated, but it's aimed to target at what um, Khan's model of engagement is. Psychological safety, availability, and uh, meaningfulness. So here's what we do. We, we go, we talk with the heads of department. We design a session with them together for their, for their department. We do a pre-survey. We actually have conversations with the department staff on what is it that, that, that is important to them. Uh, and then we collect the feedback, we do a post-survey eight months later. And uh, we have had a number of these conversations and you'll see that generally they have been very fun conversations to have with our staff. Um, and um, we, we've worked with uh, our allied health staff, we've worked with our pharmacists. Our pharmacists have been some of the biggest champions for this. Uh, we've worked with our doctors as well as our admin people. And we collect things like uh, we ask questions like, what frustrates you at work? How do I remove these pebbles that are in your way? Right? We actually call them pebbles. How do I remove pebbles that are in your way? And then we um, invite people uh, in what we call an offers and requests uh, a segment where we say, there are pe these people with these problems. Who finds that this is a problem? 
Would you, would you request somebody else to do something for you? And would people actually offer to solve these problems for other people? And you'd be surprised the number of people who actually say, actually, that problem I can solve for you and I will take it on to solve that problem for you. So it's really getting the ground to help solve each other's problems. And that's been an interesting uh, move for us. So, so we, we've done this, we've done a number of these, and, and we do pre and post surveys. Um, and this is what our pre and post surveys look like. Now, uh, we only ask six questions in our survey. They are aligned to the, the uh, three areas that we are we're looking at. Um, uh, that is uh, psychological safety, meaning and purpose, and participative management. And looking at these three areas, uh, we actually had a survey tool uh, that was, that was um, uh, assessed and, and validated by, by some of our research colleagues. And what we found is that actually, if you look at the shift in, in the green zone, um, pre and eight months later, you do see that people shift, right? Now, I won't say that this has been easy work because it has not. And you will notice that after all we do, there are people who actually feel less safe. So let me, let me show you this one, right? So if you, if you look at, if you look at, uh, oops, where am I? I can't see this. So if you look at, it is safe to, it is safe to take risks within this team, right? At baseline, there are 37% of people who actually felt that it wasn't safe. After all the work that we've done, 39% feel that it's not safe, right? So I am not standing here saying that I have gotten the, I have solved the problem. I have not solved the problem. But I know I have a problem. Because with this survey, uh, pulse surveys that we do pre and post, I'm able to see what shifts we can make uh, in our interventions and what shifts actually has not yet happened and we have to focus more and work harder on. So, so I'm not saying that we have, we have gotten this all worked out. Uh, it is very much a work in progress. I hope to come back at some point in time and tell you that we've done much better. Uh, but this really has been a uh, beginning of a very, what will be a very long journey. So I will end by saying that um, organizations have a responsibility to their staff. And, and I don't think anybody would disagree with that. Um, and we really should think about how uh, the organizations can help create safe environments so that the work we expect the staff to do and the mindfulness that we expect our staff to be able to perform can succeed rather than for the staff to be working against the grain of what the organization uh, uh, is, is, is standing for. Um, uh, some time ago, I visited an, uh, an organization, not in Singapore, where I was extremely impressed with the mindfulness program that this organization had put in place. And they even had these beautiful rooms where people could take time out and go and do their mindfulness uh, in a day, except that nobody was using them. And, and, and the reason why was because there was such a toxic environment within the organization and there's so many hygiene factors that have not been resolved within the organization that you can't logically just expect people to go and uh, do mindfulness and suddenly everything gets better, right? So I would say that as leaders, uh, organizations need to focus on creating the safe environment for their staff to flourish. Um, and I would say that one of the key things we need to focus on is, the, is, is relationships. Right? And the more we can help form relationships, the better will be the environment for our staff.